So last night I had an amazing idea. I mean, I just 100% knew that this idea was flawless. I was going to do it until I woke up this morning and then realized it sucked. <laughs> So then I started brainstorming. I'm pacing back and forth, thinking really hard of what I can create because I refuse to let the day end without me creating something. And just when I started to get frustrated because I couldn't think of an idea quick enough, I thought about a suggestion my wife gave me a couple weeks ago. Um, I have a good idea. Why don't you just recreate one of your old videos? That would be cool. <laughs> No, woman, don't nobody want to see that. Now go make me some chicken nuggets. Now. Ah. I'm just joking. I would never talk to my wife like that. And if I did, to be completely honest, she would she would actually murder me. I would be, I would be gone, dead. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go back to the very first video that I created for YouTube and we're gonna make it better. We're gonna recreate it. And I'm gonna use that video as an example to give you some tips and suggestions on how you can improve on making your videos. So let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna go back to June 2016 when I created my first video for YouTube. So let's just scroll on down. We're gonna get there, just be patient. All right, so let's just listen to a few seconds of the video to see what it looks and sounds like. Tis the season for new resolutions. What's yours gonna be this time? You're gonna read more, start a revolution, Get on Facebook and be like, it's a new year, so I'm turning into a new me. I'm sincere, turning over a new leaf. Now, right away, I can see a bunch of issues that I have with this video, with the most obvious, I think, being that I recorded on a phone horizontally instead of vertically. So um, that's tip number one. If you're recording on a phone, record horizontally, not vertically. It's just, it looks better on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? So the second thing is the audio. Now at the time, I believe I was just using a Note 3 phone and I just used the internal mic that the phone had. It actually doesn't sound as bad as I thought it would sound, but we can still make it better. Another thing is the composition. Uh, you could tell there was no thought into my framing. I just kind of put the camera wherever it could stand up on its own and I recorded myself. So we could put a little more thought into that um, just to make it look a little more visually appealing. Location, super random. We can definitely scout for a location, find something a little bit better, something that just looks better. Just like I said before, put a little more thought into it to make the, the visual look more interesting. Speaking about looking interesting, I look straight up homeless in this video. I think we can also add some music to it. It's a little, it's a little boring right now. And I'm just sitting there and I'm doing the spoken word. It's something I'm passionate about, but I think adding the right music can bring a little more feeling into it. I also think that we can add some some B-roll and shoot at different focal lengths to break up the monotony of me just sitting there and just rapping to the phone, to the camera. We can, we can make that better. So those are the things I'm gonna improve on. We're gonna do it together. Me, you, the person watching, let's go do it right now. Let's go head down to the, to the downstairs room where I do all the magic, you know what I'm saying? Come on. So step one is finding music for the spoken word. I wanna find the music first so that when I actually record the spoken word, I can kind of feel it out through the music. We already have the lyrics, the spoken word is laid out. Let's find the music first and then we can move on to the next step. All right, so to find music, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Epidemic Sound. I've been using them for the past few months and it's, you know, it's been working great for me. So if you guys have ever done any type of video work involving music, you know it can take a while to find the right song. So instead of you guys sitting here watching me for hours trying to find the music for my spoken word, we're gonna switch to a clip of my wife's cats plotting to murder me. That's not a joke. My wife's cats are evil and they don't like me. And they've been, look at their eyes, watch, watch. Don't you dare say that was cute. They want me dead. They want to homicide me, homicidically. All right, so we found the music. So now we're gonna hop on the mic and we're gonna actually record the spoken word to the music. Um, so let's do that so we can move on to the next step. All right, so hopefully I can do this in just one or two takes and we can move on. Cause sometimes I, I take forever. 
but I think uh, I think I can do it. All right, so uh, <laughs> here goes nothing. And we're done. All right, so the recording is done and usually the next step would go be to scout the location. That way I can figure out what shots I need to get, what equipment I need to get those shots. But since we're doing two videos at once and we're kind of going run and gun style, I'm just gonna do the equipment first and then we're gonna go to the location and shoot. So I have my camera bag right here and we're gonna fill it up with all the things we think we need for this shoot. So let's think about some of the things that we discussed earlier that we needed to improve on and figure out what equipment we need to help us make those improvements. So we said audio, I don't really need to record audio for the spoken word. However, I do need to record audio for this current video that I'm making about making the spoken word and, and improving that video. So I'll bring my Mic Pro Plus, which is recording me right now on top of my camera. So I'm gonna bring my 18 to 55, that's actually on my camera right now. Another wide angle lens which is the 10 to 18. And I'm gonna bring the 35 mil and I, that should be all I need. All right, so let's go ahead and put those in my camera bag. Another thing we might need, because I don't know what the lighting is gonna be like at the location I have is an ND filter. So we'll throw this in there too. We also wanna make sure we have some extra SD cards just in case. I shouldn't need lights. I'm shooting during the day, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave my lights here. I also need to make sure I bring my tripod, so I'll bring that with me. I think that's it, I think we're good to go. So let's go find a location and make this thing happen. The key to finding the right location is to think about your story. It's the same thing with finding music for the spoken word. You want something that's going to uh, complement what you're trying to say, complement your message. I think I found the perfect location. By the way, it's really cold out here. So I'm thinking right there on that dock would be a good place to do my spoken word video. All right, let's just go down here and take a look real quick before we start our filming. All right, I definitely think this is the spot. So one of the things we wanted to improve on is composition, which we can really do uh, because I can use this, uh, I can use the edges of the dock as like leading lines. And it just looks good out here. We want a location that makes sense. Water is kind of like a representation of cleansing and starting anew. And this is what this spoken word is about. So it just, it makes sense to me. A wide angle lens to kind of like capture the whole scenery. But I think me dead center is like, Perfect. I mean, come on, look at this. All right, I'm a little, I'm a little concerned. I'm in the car in the heat and I still cannot feel my hands. It is not a good day for filmmaking, but we got it done. I'm just gonna sit here and just try to warm up a bit. I feel like no matter how much I turn the heat up in my car, I cannot feel it. Oh my God, it's so cold. We got it done. <sighs> All right, now we gotta edit. All right, now the uh, editing is done, completely done. And let me show you the spoken word first. Tis the season for new resolutions. What's yours gonna be this year? Are you gonna read more? Maybe start a revolution? Get on Facebook and be like, it's a new year, so I'm turning into a new me. And this time, I'm sincere. I'm turning over a new leaf. So as you can see, the new spoken word video is so much better than the old. There's like no comparison at all. 
we definitely improved it. We improved on the audio by using the studio mic to record the vocals and then using the shotgun mic to record the performance audio so that we can sync it in post. We improved on the composition and the location because we put a little more thought into it. We were intentional with our shots, with our positioning, with our framing. We made sure that we shot different angles. We added music and B-roll just to kind of make the spoken word come alive a little bit. One thing I didn't mention earlier is that we also shot on manual will make sure you are controlling your camera. You are controlling the settings. Don't let your camera tell you how to tell your story. Tell it exactly what you need it to do. Now, one of the most important things that I want you to consider is that these videos were shot three years apart. And during those three years, I continue to make videos. I continue to improve and work on my craft. The best way that you're gonna be able to improve on your videos is to continue making them. The more you make, the better you'll get. Don't worry too much about what your stuff looks like now. Just keep making content and eventually you'll you'll get better. It's it's inevitable. <laughs> it's science, I think. <laughs> but if you don't walk away with anything else, just remember that. Keep creating. Okay, so I will post the entire spoken word video on Monday. I still have to edit and tweak some things. If you are in the future, then there will be somewhere on the screen you can click or it will be in the description. Again, I thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video or you got something out of this video, make sure you hit the like button before you leave. If you wanna stick around for more, make sure you subscribe. I got some stuff coming, so you make sure you do it, all right? I will see you guys in the next video. It's your boy K-Soul, peace.